So you need a camera stand to keep your camera still, grab your favorite cartoon character from your favorite show, and give him something to punch, break, destroy, whatever. Give him some freedom because it's about to get... And that's how you record a cartoon character. No, I'm just joking. So you need DaVinci Resolve and Toma 2D, and you can download them in the description below. You can get someone else to teach you how to download stuff because you should have learned that in primary school. Okay, cool. So once you download it to Oma 2D, you can see that it's not an app and it's kept into a file. Why does it do that? I don't know, because it doesn't waste your time. So just click on the app and open it up. And now you're inside of Toma 2D. So normally your stuff is set to sandbox, but we're going to make a new project. So let's name it whatever the fuck we want. Yeah, Donkey Kong. I don't know. So you can find your files and projects in the document. And now we're going to name our scene. Name it whatever you want. Cartoon kicks butt, cartoon shoots. It doesn't matter. Just go nuts. Awesome. Now we get to set it on HD. This is my default. There's also 4K. Do whatever you want with that. And then we're going to set our frames per second to the frames we want. We're going to set it to 12 frames per second. If you want to set it to 15, that's fine, but you're going to have to change something uh, a little bit later on. Create scene. Now it looks like a normal animation app, but why did I pull you into this specific app? Well, you can just go straight to your videos and then just drag and drop it until it says copy. Boom. Import. Boom. And then if you hear your computer screaming, that means it's working. And now your video should be inside of the app, of the animation app, and you can see that it's a video, it's moving, it's doing whatever you want. You can also click on the side of this weird uh, red and green thingy. So this you can do your onion skinning and stuff, which is fine. And you also have like a specific onion skinning if you want to put it at a specific frame. So before we get started animating over this video, first we got to click on the whole thing. Make sure that everything is selected. And then you go into cells, time stretch. This is the calculations that you need to change. So you can see that the end of our thingy is 435. So if you take your 12 frames per second and times it by the length of your video, my length of my video is 18. 12 times 18 equals 216. And if you're doing your stuff in 15 frames per second, then you're going to have to times the length of your video by 15 frames. Time stretch. Boom! Now it's half of what it's supposed to be. Now everything is playing a lot quicker, a lot faster in 12 frames per second. Now you can start animating. How do you get started with drawing? Add a new layer. Raster level? Hate it. Hate it. Just don't even bother with it. Smart level? We can apply. Call it whatever you want. And then you can add another vector layer. We're going to add two. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. So in Smart Raster, it's awesome. So we just click on B to draw. Boom. We got our weird squiggly stuff. Go crazy. Go nuts. Go insane. Change, add a different color by clicking on the plus. Change the color. Click on F. Boom. Oh my gosh, it's uh, making colors and stuff. That's so cool. But what happens if I don't like the red? Then you can change it to blue by just dragging. This is amazing. And you can do the same thing for lines. Um, let me just pick a different color quickly. And then you just add, boom, it makes shadows. Super cool. And you can also change that color too, to make it look even better. Awesomeness, hide it. Now we go into our vectors. Okay, cool. So vectors, you could do exactly the same thing. B, draw whatever the fuck you want. Awesomeness. And then you get to click on this, click on F or click on the fill tool. Boom, you can change it. You can change the color as well. And what's completely different about uh, vectors, you can adjust the points and you can manipulate it as much as you want, which is pretty fucking cool. But if you manipulate it to the point where it starts stretching and stuff and then there's a hole and whatever, this will disappear. Yeah, pretty much like that. And then you have to recolor it in. So what is the different way of recoloring this? Easy, just change this color. Uh, or even add like a blue, I don't know. And then you just click on G. G is perfect for any, like, for making geometric shapes. You want to color that in, just click on auto fill. Boom, now it's colored in. And then if you want a circle, here's a circle. Want to draw under stuff? Let's click on the red one. Boom, it's under it. Don't want to draw under stuff, then you just unclick it. So I'm going to take away everything and I'm going to click on polyline and then you can draw your colors in. And this is what I normally color in. And then you can 
draw stuff on top of that in between the lines and stuff and you need to keep it under the lines in order to draw your stuff you can also thicken your lines as well hold on there we go over here you can also thicken your lines and even thinning your lines even further to make it even more dynamic and uh last thing you need to learn is to click on s and now you can go around your ship it and then scale it turn it make it look weird make it look visually interesting and that's pretty much fine and then the last thing you need to learn is the eraser tool eraser tool can erase stuff make sure it's all gone and stuff and whatever just remember if you erase this the whole thing will just break you can also erase on raster you can erase areas and you can also erase on lines specifically just lines or you can also erase on areas and specifically just areas but without the lines good luck with the animation okay cool we're back so if you've animated everything that you needed to and you want to start exporting stuff here is the quick and short thingy about it keep it on tough make sure it's the it renders all the way to the end of your animation and click on render but because we don't want the video in our final edit so just delete it boom it's gone so now you get to see that rendering go and save and render let it go let it go let it go boom and now you can now you have your animation and you can check that it's completely transparent this is the final render and it should be fine coolness awesome so if you want to know where you can find your uh animations and stuff just go to the place where you load it in i'm going to click on animation because that's my final animation outputs and boom now you have it all in pictures and stuff and this is great because then it's see-through and stuff and it doesn't have a background awesome so now the next app that you need is davinci resolve and once you've downloaded that hot mess um get ready for a new project and then you're going to click on create you can name it whatever you want i'm just going to leave it as untitled uh, and then we click on the edit settings this is what this is perfectly what you need so uh you go into your videos make it a small can drag and drop your stuff in boom and now you need your documents and we'll go to the place where we rendered out our animation output to drag and drop your tiff as a video you click on the last picture and then you shift click on the first one and then you drag drop it boom now it's a video so now you drag and drop in your share bit oh wait before you even do that so we need to animate, we need to make our video in 24 frames per second because we animated in 12 frames per second. Right click timeline, click over here, create new timeline, uh, unclick this format and now you can change your frames per second with this. 24 frames is perfect, I'm going to leave it alone and now you can drag and drop your video that you just made and you can see that it plays through the car and then boom oh no it exploded so now you just drag and drop your character in right but now you realize it's too short so now like and it's playing like twice the speed before you even drag and drop it in you need to right click again go to clip attributes and then change the frame rate so you can click on custom and change it to the frames of that you've animated your video in 12 frames per second okay cool now you can drag and drop and now you can see it fills up the entire thing perfectly and now you can play your animation completely fun and done boom explosion and then you can do some special effects onto it pretty sick so i hope you guys don't mind staying a little bit longer i need to drag and drop a video that i've done a while ago you know the car kicking thing it's pretty much the same thing if you guys haven't noticed the fucking string at the beginning. I mean, it's right there. Like, how could you not see it? And if you see that Jenny kicks the car, I'm going to go frame by frame with my arrow keys. You can see that the car is stopped, stuck right there. And it holds for two frames or three frames and boom. And then it gets pushed away. So if you want to get the timing of that right, you need to go into your video. You can hide this with this and stuff. And then you can see the bottom part of your video. If you ever want to make your frames hold on a little bit longer, just zoom in with this little thingy over here and it will bring you by frame by frame by frame. So you click on B to cut it. And then you click on this 
and then you click on how many frames it needs to be stretched by if i need to hold this frame for like about i don't know let's say two frames and stuff so it can uh explode a little bit faster or something then you click on a click on the tiny video make sure that this time thingy is on in the at the beginning then you go all the way to clip go all the way to freeze frame so it'll hold your thingy for two frames as you can see that's the real secret of how everything from all of my videos have perfect timing perfect this perfect that that's all you really need to know thank you everybody for watching my video if you want me to go more in depth on animation or more in depth in davinci resolve to make special effects and animations please let me know down in the comments below give this uh video a like if you enjoyed it and if you want more content like this don't forget to subscribe enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next video bye